Today, we're showcasing Monster Insights. Today, I'll show you how to build an Amazon affiliate store with WordPress. One of the first things you're going to need is you need a WordPress website. You want to get hosting. You want to get a domain name, all of that fun stuff. I'll walk you through how to quickly get hosting. The next step we'll do is we'll install WooCommerce for your site. WooCommerce is the best e-commerce plugin for WordPress, and it just allows you to do so much with affiliate marketing. And then whenever you're ready, if you want to start selling on your own site, sell your own products, then you can do that using WooCommerce as well. And then finally, I'll walk you through how to actually add products to your site and then how to set up an Amazon affiliate account. So let's dive in. To get started with Bluehost, you want to go to wpbeginner forward slash refer forward slash Bluehost. And that is our affiliate link. We will get a commission if you use that link for us. So once you get set up, you can see this special page. With this link, you also get a free domain for the first year. You'll also get free SSL certificate. And that's just says SSL stands for secured socket layer. And that just makes sure that your website is secure and encrypted between you and your readers or your visitors. So let's go ahead and click on the get started now button. I would say you want to look at between the plus and the basic and a couple of the major differences between the basic and the plus is the basic. You only get one website and you have a few other items there to look at. Whereas with the plus you get unlimited websites for this tutorial. I'll simply choose the basic. Now from here, this is where you create your new domain name or the website where you're going to send people to. So now you can put it in, put in what you want your website name to be. And when you click next, it will either come back and let you know if it's available. If it is available, it will give you this big green banner that says it's available. If it's not available, they'll give you some ideas of some other website names to try. So scrolling down, you'll want to fill out all of this information. And then when you scroll down to the package information, then this is where you need to make a decision on how much savings you want. And you have your choice between 36 months, 24 or 12 months. And that gives you the separation between 12 month savings worth of savings. And then it resets to the normal amount or you get three years at 275. So something you need to look at. But you notice that the domain name registration is free and the Let's Encrypt is free as well. And then scrolling down, there's some package extras and you really can uncheck all of these. And then scrolling down, you see the total savings for this is at least 50 percent off. And this is our total amount. So you just want to go through here and enter credit card information. You want to go ahead and read their auto renewal terms. That's just letting you know when it renews, it will renew at the standard price. And then once it goes through, actually create your website. Once you get all the information, then Bluehost will go out and install WordPress for you. And this is the back end of it. Now that we've installed WordPress, the next thing we need to do is we need to install the e-commerce plugin and WooCommerce is the best e-commerce plugin for WordPress. So we'll head over to our plugins area, go to add new. And from here, we need to search for WooCommerce. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click install now. Go ahead and make sure you stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great. Once everything is installed, then WooCommerce will want to do a setup wizard. And what you can do because we're not setting up an actual store where you're taking payments and doing shipping and things like that. We don't really need to set that up. So scroll the way down and say skip setup store details. So now your website is ready to accept products or so you can add products to your website. The next thing you want to do is we want to go ahead and set up Amazon Associates account and we'll do that next. To set up an affiliate account, you want to go to affiliate-program.amazon.com or you can even just search for Amazon affiliate program. And this is the one we want. So let's go ahead and go to this link. And this is where you can sign up for it. If you already have an Amazon account, then it'll just connect through your Amazon account. If you don't, then you can create an Amazon account. Once you have created the account or once you sign in with your current Amazon account, from here you want to go in and set up your details, your account information, then we can click next. And from here, this is where you want to add your website name so that they know which website the products are coming from or the affiliate items are coming from. Click add and then we can go to next. And now it's going to ask, are these products made for children under 13? They have other requirements for that. We'll say no for this because this isn't. And then from here, you just want to fill out this information. Once you've finished, it will show you your Amazon Associates area. And from here, you can start to grab product links and things like that. I want to show you one quick thing that you want to do 
Let's go to Tools, Site Stripe, and it should be turned on by default, but if it's not, let's make sure that we turn it on. From here, we want to turn on Site Stripe because anytime you go to Amazon.com, you'll have this little area up here, a little toolbar at the top that makes it way easier to get any product links for your store. And you can click Learn More here, and then it'll give you a little bit more information. From here, we see the Associate Site Stripe options. Like I said, by default, it should say enabled. If it says disabled for you, go ahead and click enable. Keep both of these checked. And now, anytime you go to actual amazon.com, you see that you have the site stripe up here. So it's really, really easy for you to gather any product links that you need. Okay, now we need to create a link and start collecting links for our site. Now that we have site stripe up here, we can just come to text to get the link. You can either do short link or full length. I just do short because it's easier to manage. We'll just copy this. And now we want to add this product to our store. So we'll do that next. Now, a bit of information with the Amazon Associates account, you have basically 180 days or six months to create and make three sales for your Amazon Associates account. If you don't do that, then they will close the, the account or they'll disapprove your account and then you'll have to go through the process again. So you want to try and make three, at least three successful sales and they cannot come from you or your family or your friends. So just keep that in mind. So we're going to use this one as our first one. It's an Asus laptop. We're gonna go back to our website and under products on the left, we go add new. So this is how you'll do it. You'll add the product name. You can come down here and add the description. You want to make sure that the description is not something that you've copied from Amazon. In fact, you cannot copy anything from here. You can't copy any of the details. It all has to be your own information, your own product specs. You cannot, you also cannot copy the image. You have to either get them from the manufacturer if they have it or just leave no image on your site. You can do that, but you have to use it through an API. And so it's just better to, to not pull these in manually. So once you fill out some description of the information, you could scroll down and under product data, we can say that it is an external affiliate product. And from here, this is where we can add our Amazon affiliate link. So I had copied that and now we can paste it here. And a little bit of information for the button text. You wanna make sure you leave the prices blank. Like I said, you cannot manually put that in there. We can come back here and let's go to image. You can also add an image not manually, but you can use it from this area. And what Amazon will do is it's actually adding your tracking information as well. So we can copy this link and we can come back. And in order to show this, we'll need to, instead of doing visual, let's go to text and we'll just start a new line. And I'm going to paste all that information in there. And then when we go back to visual, now we have a product image. And once we added all that information in, let's go ahead and click publish. And now we can see the product on the site. So I'll open it up in a new tab and this is the item. So now when they click buy on Amazon, it'll take them to Amazon and it will have my affiliate ID in there and scroll down. This, this image also will take them there as well. So then you just need to go through and set this up for all the products that you want to sell for your website for Amazon affiliate. And then when you start to get traffic, you want to know where that traffic is coming from and what kind of conversions your traffic is making. To do that, you'll want to install something like Monster Insights. Monster Insights connects your site to Google Analytics easily so you can see all of this data right from within your dashboard. For this, you can see like the sessions page views of your site. Scrolling down, you can see the average session duration. So how long are people on your site? The bounce rate, meaning how quickly do they leave your site once they get here, as well as the page views and so much more. When you are selling things, you can also do something like see your top affiliate links. What are the top affiliate links that people are clicking on so that you know which ones are performing the best ones and which ones do you need to improve on? To get started with Monster Insights, just head over to monsterinsights.com and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP and you'll get the best discount on Monster Insights. And now make sure you watch this video next where Syed and I talk about the 10 proven ways to make money with your website. Affiliate marketing isn't the only way that you can make money and we'll cover some of the other really great ways to make money with your website. And I'll see you over there.